now that your account is set up, let's go through the documents required to purchase real estate in your IRA. Please make sure to supply our transaction department with the contact information of your realtor, title agent, and lender to ensure proficient communication between all parties involved. Let's get started. Section A is your account information. This is all, your, all of your personal information. If you do not have an account number yet, you can leave this blank and we will fill it in for you. Section B, how would you like to pay your Mountain West IRA fees? Select the box indicating how you would like to pay your fees for the transaction. Section C, investment details. Remember to work with your real estate agent and title agents to show that you are purchasing the property within your IRA. Remember, your IRA is the buyer, not you as the individual. Vesting must read Mountain West IRA Inc. FBO Your Name IRA. If partnering, the vesting must read Mountain West IRA Inc. FBO Your Name, comma, undivided percent interest. Any buyer address information must be our office, which is 10096 West Fairview Avenue, Suite 160, Boise, Idaho, 83704. This is including the warranty deed. Boxes C1 through C3 are all referring to the property that you're purchasing. C4 is referring to the earnest money we may need to send and where we will be sending it to. If earnest money needs to be sent, we will need the purchase and sale agreement and the direction of investment form that indicates the amount that needs to be sent. Please fill in this information under earnest money and please keep in mind that we need two business days to process this transaction. You can have it processed within one business date. There will be a $95 uh, transaction fee added to your transaction due to one day turnaround. Box C5 is the contact information of whomever will be closing the transaction. Box C6 is the date that the purchase will be completed. Once the offer has been accepted, we will need the closing documents, including the title commitment and deed, and proof of property insurance before we can fully fund the purchase. Please keep in mind these items must be received at least two business days prior to the date you wish funds to be sent. Box number C7 is referring to whether the property that is being purchased is a housing and urban development property. C8 is information on where and how we will send funds for the purchase. C9 is where you will complete information about the lender if there is a loan against the property. Please keep in mind this must be a non-recourse loan. Next, you'll want to read the authorization letter and sign at the bottom. Now on the reoccurring payment authorization letter. Section A is your account information. This is your personal information as well as the percent at which the asset will be owned. Right there. Section B is how do you would like to pay your Mountain West IRA fees. You will choose how you would like to pay your fees regarding this asset. Usually this information is indicated in your account already. However, we do like to verify. Next, you will choose what you would like to authorize us to pay. If you want us to pay any invoice that comes in, please mark all invoice expenses box, which is right here. We will call to verify any invoice over $2,000. If you marked all invoice expenses, you can leave the rest of the form blank and just sign at the bottom. If you marked anything other than all invoice expenses, then you will need to complete section C, which is the payment information amount to be sent or wired, including the amount of the invoice, beginning, beginning and end date, the dates for which you would like this form to be valid, frequency, how often you would like us to send the payment mentioned in the amount to be sent or wired box, and section D, delivery instructions. The whole section is regarding how you would like these payments to be sent. Then you'll sign at the bottom, Please note, all payment authorization letters will expire a year from the date they were signed, even if the end date in Section C is later or empty. Next page is the do's and don'ts of real estate. Please read through this and sign at the bottom. Form 990-T, this form states that if you are invested in a leveraged or mortgaged income producing property, you will complete the tax form 990-T. Sign and date. The closing documents, purchase sell agreement, and all other forms will all need to come to our office after you have reviewed and signed them as read and approved by your name. 
once we have received the 100% complete documents that have been read and approved, an authorized signer from Mountain West IRA will then sign on behalf of your IRA as the buyer of the property. We will then forward all necessary documents onto the title company to complete the purchase. Please note, you will need to maintain sufficient cash balance in the IRA to pay all, asso all expenses associated with the property, as well as expenses that must be paid with IRA funds. Please call us if you have any questions. Thank you.